this is Raina. Thank you for visiting my crochet channel. Today I will show you how to crochet this uh, beautiful uh, tulip doily. And I brought these uh, wooden tulips from Amsterdam. And they fit with this doily perfectly. And uh, this is so appropriate for springtime because tulip festivals are going on everywhere. And I'm using Aunt Lydia's crochet thread size 10 and crochet hook size 1.75 millimeters and this doily has 19 rounds and let's get started and we start this with slip knot And now chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And join into the ring with slip stitch into the first chain. And our first round chain three counts as the first double crochet stitch. And now double crochet 15 times into that chain so uh, we're going to have total of 16 double crochets and after 16 double crochets we're going to uh, join with slip stitch into the third chain for round two chain three again counts as the first double crochet and then double crochet into the next stitch then uh, chain two double crochet into the next and double crochet into the next again chain two and two two double crochet one and two again chain two and repeat this all around after the last two chains join with a slip stitch into the third chain of beginning round three chain three and now double crochet into the same stitch right here then double crochet twice into that next one here so one and two then chain two and again double crochet twice into the next double crochet And also twice into the next and then chain two so keep doing this uh, you'll have eight of these uh, four double crochet clusters and again after two chains join with a slip stitch into the third chain of beginning and round four chain three again and double crochet into the same stitch then double crochet once into the next one do this again also once into the next hmm. slipping away and uh, now twice into the last one one and two so you have a um, total of six double crochets here and then uh, chain two and repeat again twice into the first once into the next one once into the next 
and twice into the last. And chain two. Repeat this all around. And round five, chain three. Uh, double crochet into the next and double crochet into the next and now chain two again double crochet into the next into the next and into the third one here again chain two so this one is easy, just three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets, two chains. So one, two, three, two chains, one, two, three, and two chains. And round six start with three chains and double crochet into the same stitch then double crochet one time into the next and also one time into that next then chain two double crochet once in the next also one time into the next and now two times into that third one here chain two and we do this again with the next one first double crochet twice into this first one then once into the next and once into the next chain two, double crochet once, also once in the next, and now again twice into that last, and chain two. Do this all around. Round seven, chain three, and double crochet into the same stitch and then double crochet once into the next three one two and three and now chain three one two three double crochet again once into each next three so one one and one and twice into that last one here and then chain two so keep repeating this double crochet twice in the first once into the next three chain three double crochet once into the three and twice into the next and then chain two. And round eight, uh, chain three, and uh, double crochet into the same stitch. And now double crochet once into the each next four. One, two, finish one two three four now chain three and um, double crochet once into each next four one two three and four and then again twice into the last one and two and then 
chain two and repeat the same double crochet twice into the first once into each next four chain three double crochet once into each next four and twice into the last and then chain two again and round nine is the same except we have to do five double crochets here so we start with three chains double crochet into the same and now double crochet once into each next five so one two three four and five then chain three double crochet once into each next five one two three four five and twice into that last one again And chain two. Repeat this all around. And round ten is also the same, except uh, we make six double crochets here. So start three chains, double crochet into the same stitch, and now double crochet once into each next six one two three four five six chain three double crochet again once in each next six one Two, three, four, five, six, and then twice into that last one here. Again, chain two and repeat this all around. And round 10 we want to finish differently we will chain one here not two and now make a single stitch into that third beginning chain and so the purpose is to stay in the middle of this uh, two chain space and starting round 11 first do a slip stitch into that space that you're in here just a slip stitch and now chain three one two three that counts as double crochet and chain three more for a three chain space now we will skip first two double crochets here one two and double crochet into the next third and double crochet into the each next one time so we'll have one, two three four five six double crochets here now double crochet three times into that three chain space one two and three and again double crochet into each next six one two three four five and 
and six. And then again, chain three, two, three, double crochet into that two chain space. One time, chain two, and double crochet into the same space. Then chain three and start over. Skip first two double crochets, one, two, double crochet one time into each next six, one, two, three, four, five, six, double crochet three times into the three chain space, again six over here, leave last two unworked, chain three, double crochet one time into the two chain space, chain two, and do another double crochet in the same space, chain three. And repeat this all around. And the last three chains join into the third chain of the beginning. One, two, three, this one. And now uh, round 12. Chain three and double crochet two more times into that same space. So we have a three double crochet cluster here. Then chain three, three, and again uh, skip first two double crochets one, two and double crochet into the next. And now double crochet 11 times here. And then uh, chain three. And uh, double crochet three times into that first double crochet here. One. Two, three, and this is already a part of our flower, the base of the flower. And now chain five, two, three, four, five. Again, double crochet into that next one here, three times. Two, three. chain three and repeat. Skip two double crochets, double crochet 11 times across here, chain three, double crochet three times into first double crochet, chain five, double crochet three times into the second double crochet, chain three. And when you get to the last five chains, we are going to do this differently again. Um, chain just two and then do double crochet into that third chain of beginning so that we will end up in the middle of this space. And for round 13, chain three and double crochet three more times into this chain space. We're going to have uh, clusters of five double crochets in each of these five chain spaces. Right now we have four and when we get to the end of this round we're gonna add one more here so it will end with a double crochet stitch. And uh, next chain three And in these three double crochets, <clears throat> double crochet twice in each. So one, and two, one, and two, and one, 
two. We'll have six here. Next, um, chain three again. Skip two double crochets here and two seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain three. Again, double crochet twice in each of these three here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then chain three. And now in this five chain space, we are gonna have five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And then <clears throat> repeat this, chain three, double crochet twice into each of these three, chain three again, skip two here and double crochet seven across, chain three, and repeat. And when you get to the end of round 13, did the three chains, the last thing to do is to add that one more double crochet here, and then slip stitch into the third chain that we started with. Round 14, chain four. That counts as a double crochet and a one chain space. And now double crochet into the next, and then chain one. Again, double crochet into the next, and chain one. Double crochet into the last. Then uh, chain three. And here we're going to um, double crochet twice in the first. Then uh, double crochet once in each next four. Two, three, four. And again twice in the last. One, two. Then chain three, skip two here, first two, and double crochet three. Again, chain three and repeat. So here we did a uh, first double crochet, we did uh, twice in this one and once in each next four and twice in the last one. Then um, we'll chain three and I'll show you quickly when I get to that part. So in each of these middle, middle five double crochets, we do um, double crochet and chain. So we'll have so five double crochets and then one chain space between each. And then continue with uh, three chains. And now the end of round 14, when you did the last three chains, we're gonna do that last double crochet here, chain one, and now we slip stitch into the third chain that we started with. So we're ending the round 
here in the middle here now round 15 is quite the same uh, but the only difference chain of five first counts as first double crochet and two chain space then double crochet into the next double crochet and chain two double crochet into the next double crochet chain two and the last double crochet here then uh, chain three and in here we're just going to double crochet in each stitch which will make eight total one two three four five six seven and eight so one double crochet in each then um, uh, chain three and double crochet in each of these three here. And then repeat the three chains, eight double crochets across here, three chains, and here in the middle we did um, double crochet in each, so five, and two chains between each of them. And when you reach the end, I uh, did the last three chains, then again uh, double crochet into that first double crochet here, chain one, and slip stitch into the third chain of beginning. And uh, round 16 now. So this part is going to be the same except three chains between each double crochet. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Count as double crochet and three chain space. Double crochet into the next and three chains. Double crochet into the next and three chains. And double crochet into the last here. Now chain three and we're going to now double crochet two together here decreasing this part. So start doing the first double crochet and keep the two last loops on the hook to the next one. Also, now we have three loops on the hook and pull through all of them at once. Then double crochet into each next four one time. And to another double crochet, two together. So start the first one, keep these two loops on hook, do the second one pull yarn through first two loops and then pull through three loops on hook then chain three and here we're going to now double crochet into that first one twice chain two skip the middle one and double crochet twice into that third chain three and repeat two double crochets together four double crochets in each next two double crochets together chain three here we did uh, one double crochet here chain three one here so one double crochet in each of these five 
and chain three between each and round 16 we end the same way did the three chains and double crochet into that first double crochet here chain three more and um, slip stitch into the first chain of the beginning round 17 three chains and two double crochets into the same space chain two and do three double crochets into that next stitch again chain two and three double crochets in here chain two three double crochets in here next uh, chain three again we're gonna do the decrease double crochet so two together start the first one pull through first two loops to the start the second one pull through first two loops and now all three loops on the hook double crochet in each next two one time and do another decrease so two double crochets together start first start the second pull through now chain three double crochet in each next two so one double crochet in each and now chain seven one two three four five six seven again double crochet in once in here and once in next and chain three and repeat double crochet two together here double crochet in each next two and double crochet last two together chain three and then do the three double crochets here chain two three double crochets in the next chain two and so forth and repeat this for the round 17 and to end this round chain three and make your three double crochets here and um, chain two and then slip stitch into that third chain of beginning and uh, now um, round 18 chain three and double crochet into the same space then double crochet into the next stitch one time and uh, double crochet twice into the last one so we'll have five here then chain three and do this in each one of these double crochet twice in the first once in the second twice in the third and chain three between them next uh, chain three and now we're going to crochet four double crochets together in this space so we're gonna start the first one pull through first two loops start the second one pull through first two loops start the third one pull through first two loops and fourth through first two loops and now you have five loops on the hook pull through them all at once chain three here double crochet one time in each so one and two 
chain three. And now we want to find the fourth chain in this space. One, two, three, four. Insert here and do a double crochet. Then chain five, three, four, five. And double crochet into that same space. Chain three and double crochet once in each next of these two. One and two. Chain three and we're, we're gonna do the four double crochets together again. So first, second, third and fourth and all together chain three and now do your um, five double crochet clusters here and uh, chain three between each of them and then repeat this for round 18 and I'm finishing the round 18 with uh, three chains and slip stitch into the third chain beginning. And we have just one more round to do, round 19. And this one, we're gonna start with three chains. And then we're gonna do in these parts five double crochets together so the first one um, start the second double crochet leave it on the hook start the third start the fourth and the fifth and now um, pull thread through all the loops on the hook Next, uh, chain three, and now we're uh, gonna do triple crochet into the three chain space. And actually, we're gonna do um, two of them together. So keep the last two loops on hook again. Yo, twice around your hook. Do the second one. And when you have three loops on hook, pull through them at once. Next, um, chain two. And then we're gonna do a little pico here. Chain three. And slip stitch into the second chain from hook. And chain two again. And we'll do the second uh, triple crochet cluster here, two of them together. So, go twice around hook, start the first one, pull through first two loops, pull through second two loops, and now do the second one, do the same space, first two loops, second two loops, and now you have three loops on hook, pull through them. Then chain three, and we're gonna do the five double crochets together here, the cluster. So start the first one, leave the loops on hook, start second, start third, Start the fourth and the fifth. Pull through all these loops now at once. Then chain three, again uh, chain two, then chain uh, three more to the pico, 
slip stitch into the second chain from hook, chain two more, and let's do this this part here again. So um, two triple crochets, triple crochets together, go twice around the hook, pull through first two loops, pull through second two loops, leave these on hook, go again twice, do that same thing, two loops, two loops, now you have three on hook, pull through them, chain two, chain three more, slip stitch into that second chain here and chain two more then two two more treble crochets together and chain three Now keep doing this until uh, you reach here. So I did the last five double crochets together here and then um, again we chain three and then um, we are going to skip this here and we're going to crochet two double crochets together in here. So start the first one, start the second one, and pull through all through three loops on hook. Chain three, and double crochet one time in here. chain three again and we're gonna do the um, two trebles together again into this space here I start the first one I start the second one and then pull three loops and then we're gonna do the chain peacock chain two three more slip stitch into the second chain chain two 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 trebles together into that same chain space here start the first start the second and pull through chain three and uh, double crochet in here one time chain three and two two double crochets together in here start the first second pull through three loops then chain three and start skip this here and start your five double crochet clusters here five together and then you can repeat this all around for the last row and when you get to the um, end then you will uh, slip stitch into the on top of that beginning five double crochet cluster just slip stitch and cut off the yarn. And here is my finished doily. I blocked it, uh, sprayed with water and um, left it drying overnight. And it measures about 12 and a half inches in diameter. You will find the written pattern on my website. Let me know if you have any questions and happy crocheting.